Hello fellow coffee botherers. In this video, I'm gonna be answering the question, what the chuff is Americano or cafe Americano and how do you make it at home? I've not done a video like this before because to be honest, I just assumed everyone knew what Americano is and how to make it, but I was wrong as I recently discovered when I was doing some keyword research for the blog and discovered that many people are searching for this question on Google. So I thought I'd do a video about it. First of all, to answer the question, what is Americano? Americano is espresso mixed with hot water to make a bigger cup of espresso-based coffee diluted with water. That's it. That's where the definition ends. I want to do some myth busting with this video. And the first Americano myth is that to be an Americano, it has to meet certain stipulations concerning whether you pull the shot first or put the water in the cup first and what the espresso to water ratio should be and so on. This is all personal preference. Americano is just a label for espresso mixed with hot water. That's it. There are no rules to say you can't call it an Americano unless a certain requirement is met. That's rubbish. Americano is just a label to describe a espresso mixed with hot water or American style coffee made with an espresso machine. I'm going to show variations that you can try to produce the best tasting Americano for your palate, but they're all Americano. Some will say, for example, oh no, you put the water in first and the shot on top, so that's a long black. No, that's just a different label. American style coffee made with espresso diluted with hot water was labeled as Americano somewhere at some point, no one really knows where and when. It was probably in Italy and it was probably nothing to do with World War II, which I'll get to in a minute. Down under in Australia and New Zealand, espresso diluted with hot water was labeled as long black. And from what I can gather, this drink on cafe menus was made to recreate the big cups of instant coffee that people were used to drinking at home at the time that the cafe culture really started to boom. So the label for espresso diluted with hot water down under was long black. And I can't see any evidence that long black was initially made any differently from how most cafes would make Americano. What happened over the years though, similarly to with flat white, and click here to watch my video on flat white, is that long black evolved in various cities in Australia and New Zealand. And by the point it was imported here, there were a set of stipulations that made this drink a long black. The main one being that the espresso is added to the hot water so you get a more intense flavor due to the crema bit on top. So this has led many people to make the distinction that if a long black is hot water first, then to differentiate between the two, Americano should be espresso first. And many cafes have made other distinctions such as the types of cups used for both, the size of drink and the ratio of espresso to water. Does this mean then that Americano has to be made a particular way to be called Americano? No, it's just a label to describe espresso diluted with hot water. You can call it Americano and you can do whatever you like with it. Another myth, well, I think it's probably a myth, is the origin of Americano. You'll usually find, if you research this, that Americano came from American soldiers during World War II not being able to take the intensity of espresso. I've looked into this because my first thought was that American GIs weren't there as tourists, and I'm sure they had more important things to do than sit sipping coffee in Italian coffee shops, but I found that various reports from American GIs at the time that they were actually doing a lot of tourism, and this appears to have been encouraged the US Army Special Services Division created a pocket handbook guide to Italy that was issued to military personnel with sketches of cities they might like to visit and promises any soldier who has an interest in art that they'll have a wonderful chance for study but our main problem with this story of how Cafe Americano got its name is that it seems to insinuate that Italians knew nothing about Americans and their drinking preferences until the Second World War. American tourism began in Italy way before the Second World War, way before the First World War even, and Italians knew enough about Americans to have named the cocktail Americano in the mid-1800s due to its popularity among American tourists. And by the way, if you search Wikipedia for Cafe Americano, you'll find a reference to Americano been mentioned in a novel by William Maugham in the late 1920s. If there's anyone watching this who edits on Wikipedia, the Americano mentioned in this novel was the cocktail Americano that was popular in Italy at that time. The same cocktail, by the way, which is the first drink that James Bond orders in Casino Royale, the 1957 novel, that is. I'm not sure whether they included that in the film with uh, Daniel Craig. So I might be wrong here. It may be purely American GIs visiting Italian cities 
during World War II, wanting their espresso diluted with hot water that led to the term Cafe Americano. But I have a hunch that Americano was possibly used by Italian baristas to describe American style coffee before that. So I'm gonna be making Americano with an espresso machine in this video, the Sage or Breville dual boiler. You can make it with any espresso machine, of course. I'm also gonna make an Americano with the Aeropress for anyone who doesn't have an espresso machine. Some would say this isn't true Americano as it isn't made with true espresso, and that's fair enough. But if you use the Aeropress the way I'm gonna use it in this video, you should get very close to true Americano without an espresso machine. So let's make coffee. I'm using the Coffee Works Custard Cream, single origin Costa Rica, and that is my own coffee. So yeah, shameless plug, but go to seaworks.co.uk if you want to try it and use the discount code YT25 for 25% off your first order. And if you order two bags, oh no, hang on a minute, is it? No, it's if you spend a tenner or more, you get free delivery. And single dosing with the Eureka Mignon Speciality, and I'm using the Akaya Luna, as you can see. And I've not done a video on this yet, but I will do very soon. So we want, I'm using a 21 gram basket, so we'll use 21 grams. I'm doing the WDT method, the vice distribution technique to help to avoid channeling. You don't have to do this, but as part of put prep, it will help you to avoid channeling, I believe. This is the 18.5. Um, sorry, 58, 58.5 mil, I think, uh, tamper from Shades of Coffee. So it goes right up to the lip of the porter filter. So you don't end up with a sort of slither of ground coffee up the sides that you do with 58 mil tampers. So this way round is what many people would tell you is the way to do Americana. Espresso in first and then hot water. And personally, I think this is probably the best way to do it because it allows you to pull the shot of espresso, put water into it and then taste it and see whether or not it's strong enough or you know, see whether it's right for you and then you can add a bit more. Whereas if you do it the other way around, the um, sort of long black way of doing it where you put the hot water in first and then the espresso on top, if you've not got it right, you know, if you, um, if it's too weak, you're gonna to have to pull another shot. So it does make sense to do this way. I am going to pull this shot manually. over a little bit because I was messing with the camera but fairly close to been dialed in. That's a pretty good shot but this isn't a dialed in video anyway so I'm not too bothered about that but that is pretty nicely dialed in. And that for me is pretty good so I wouldn't need to play with that anymore really as you can see we've got some crema on the top but not as much as will be in a minute when I do it the other way around this time I'm going to do it the other way around hot water first
So you'll see the main difference there with compared to the previous one is that the crema is fully intact. So in that regard, it's like a big espresso. You've still got that hit of crema on the top, which gives you a sort of hit of intensity. And I do prefer it that way. That, for me, is just a little bit more satisfying than doing it the other way around. Next, I'm going to make an Americano or a version of Americano with the Aeropress. With this brew, because I'm making Americano style or make an espresso style coffee to mix with hot water for an Americano style coffee. I am going to do it the standard way as opposed to the inverted method. So with the inverted method, which is more along the lines of you know filter coffee, you would start like that, put your coffee in, put your water on, in, stir it, put the filter on, leave it for whatever your steep time is, then turn it round, put it on top of your cup, you know, flip it over onto your cup and then push it. But doing it the traditional way is how Alan Adler intended the AeroPress to be used. He intended it to be used to make espresso style concentrated coffee. Not that I'm saying it's wrong to do it the other way. I usually do it the inverted way, but because I am actually trying to make an espresso style coffee, I'm going to do it this way. And I'm just rinsing the filter first, which I would always do. So that's all ready. I'm going to do the brew temperature to 90 and I've already made the grind a bit more coarse than a ground for the dual boiler. And just to try and make it as similar as with the dual boiler, I'm going to use 21 grams. Don't have to. You can play around with different doses, see what you prefer. And if it was making a more sort of filter style, brew with the AeroPress, I usually use about 17, 18 grams for a single cup. But as I said, I'm going to use the same dose as I did with the dual boiler. So put the ground coffee into the AeroPress. Let's set the cup, set the scales of the cup off even. And then I'm going to fill it up to just below the two cup mark. And then I'm going to stir. And then press. Here we've got the base for the drink, the espresso style coffee. And then I'm gonna to top that up to about 140 grams. There we go. Americano style coffee with the AeroPress. And it's not exactly the same, but it's similar. Exact same coffee, same dose. I don't think I've got the grind quite right. To be honest, I can need to go a bit coarser. But still, that's pretty good. Very, very similar in strength. Slightly different in taste. It hasn't got that hit of crema on top because you don't really get crema with AeroPress. There are techniques you can use to try and get a bit of crema or crema style foam from them, but still, not bad. So there you go. If you didn't know how to make Americano or what it is, now you do. Thank you very much for watching. And if you liked this video, then why not click here to watch another one? Also, please click the like button. The YouTube fairies are friendly little creatures, but if you don't click the like button, it's like throwing water on a magwai and you don't want that.
Don't forget to become an official Coffee Botherer. You need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe and to become a fully accredited Coffee Botherer, also known as Patreon supporter. Just go to patreon.com forward slash coffee blog Tatty bye.